Hey friends, today we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom and it is officially October. It's October 1st and I wanted to kick off the Halloween month here at Magic Kingdom. So we're going to try some of the spooky snacks they have and maybe grab a pumpkin spice latte and hang out on Main Street and see if there's anything new going on in the park. So let's ride some rides, eat some food and have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's. Let's go do this. Not only is today the first day of October, it's also the anniversary of Walt Disney World. Today is the anniversary of Magic Kingdom. How crazy is that? October 1st, 1971. I know we've been covering like Halloween festivities for like the past month now, but it just seems different when you're in the month of October. You know what I mean? Like I woke up today and I saw it was October 1st and I was like, I want to go to Magic Kingdom. I literally pictured myself going to Magic Kingdom, uh, heading straight to Starbucks, grabbing a pumpkin spice coffee or a pumpkin spice latte and just walking around and just loving the atmosphere. So it's kind of what we're going for today. Well, it looks like I made the timeless annual pass holder mistake and I didn't check and see if there was a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party tonight. And in fact, there is. This is not the first time I've showed up to Magic Kingdom on a party night with only a couple of hours to spare. And uh, I'm still gonna have a great time. And I bet you we're gonna get a lot done. You're gonna be shocked at how much we actually get done in just a short amount of time. Honestly, is there anything better than like a pumpkin spice latte on Main Street USA? Look at this. I've been waiting uh, all month, or waiting for this month to actually come and do this. On top of a pumpkin spice latte, I think I might get this Mickey shaped cinnamon roll too. Look at that, orange frosting and sprinkles for $6.79. And I'm also pretty amazed that there's no line in here really. Like you would think, like Starbucks on Main Street, very busy, you know? I love the cast members working at Starbucks. Look at this, they wrote my name on the cup, paging Mr. Morrow. And then look, on the, even on my cinnamon roll. Mr. Morrow, and here's the cinnamon roll. Doesn't that look so good? It's massive. I mean, this is a big cinnamon roll. I have a feeling though, those ears aren't gonna hold up. I bet you as soon as I pick it up, those ears are gonna come falling off there. Seriously, how cool is that? I got my own personalized cinnamon roll and pumpkin spice latte, so cheers. Cheers to Halloween. Oh, much too good. And now it's time to dive into the cinnamon roll. Look at this bad boy. Here we go. Yours first, we're gonna try picking up off the plate. Let's see, hold on. Oh boy. Ooh, it's holding up. I'm gonna show you the backside. Oh boy. I, th I thought that maybe they are baked together. I thought maybe they just covered them with the icing, but it looks good to go. Oh boy, this is gonna be difficult. All right, ears first, but I'm gonna hold it just in case uh, they fall apart. So here we go. I will say this is a very good cinnamon roll, but if I'm coming to the Magic Kingdom uh, and I want a cinnamon roll, I'm going to Gaston's Tavern. I mean, this is good, but you might as well walk just a couple more feet and go get the best cinnamon roll on property, and that is at Gaston's Tavern. But this is still pretty good. If you do also get it, be prepared because the orange stuff gets everywhere. Like I'm, I'm staring at it, it's on my camera, it's on my cheek, it's on my cup. It's a little bit of everywhere. But the pumpkin spice latte, that hits. This is good. Now I'm gonna take this and we're gonna continue walking down Main Street. Ah, uh, look at that. Starbucks right down the middle of Main Street, USA. That's the way. Check out the new Nightmare Before Christmas Roosevelt shirts that they have. I picked this one because it's zero and I love this shirt. If you guys ever want to buy a Roosevelt shirt, you know, all the shirts I wear in my videos, uh, I have a promo code in the description. It's PMM20 and you get 20% off your first order. So if you guys ever see anything you like, uh, definitely check it out. I also have a collection page where it has all the shirts that I wear in the videos and that's in the description too. Let's take a quick look at the wait times. It seems like it's kind of a slow day. Big Thunder is only 20 minutes. Pirates of the Caribbean, 25 minutes. Haunted Mansion is only 20 minutes too. So I feel like we actually might get a lot done. Wow, Big Thunder though, only 20 minutes. I feel like maybe we should kind of head over to Frontierland. Oh, what else did we got here? Seven Doors Mine Train, look at that. 40 minute wait, holy moly. That's insane, Peter Pan's flight, 40 minutes. The highest, rate in the, the highest wait in the park right now is 40 minutes. 
we have less than an hour to get as much as we can done. Uh, I mean, as much as we want to. I mean, I don't have to do anything, but I kind of want to do something. You know what I mean? I came all the way here. So uh, I think we're going to make our way right to Big Thunder Mountain. Look at this, it's 5.06 right now, so less than an hour, and uh, also look at Gracie girl. I love her, she's my best friend. I'm sorry I haven't been posting as many videos as I used to. The other day I had a live stream where I was explaining to people that uh, I uh, had to upgrade my uh, system. I had to get a new computer, a new editing software, and a new phone. So I'm trying to figure out how to edit on a Apple computer. I've only ever used a PC before and I've been editing on Windows Movie Maker uh, for this whole entire time and now I am trying iMovie and it's been a little bit of a learning curve and I'm getting the hang of it but I feel like switching from a PC to an Apple it's like it's a whole nother language but I'll get the hang of it don't worry we'll get back in the uh, swing of things in no time as we were making our way over to Big Thunder, the parade stepped off. And look, you can see Bruno's there, Moana, Mulan. And I wanted to give you a look at Tiana's Bayou Adventure. A little update on the construction. Seems like it's coming along pretty fast. In fact, I think this one might be their fastest refurbishment because their uh, like open date like is like uh, not too far away. Like This is going to be here very soon. I mean, anything's gonna be a short wait after we've waited so long for Tron to actually open up. So, I mean, I guess it is gonna be the fastest. Look at that, 20 minutes, not too shabby at all. I'll take that any day. We're actually just walking right through this queue. It's moving pretty fast. Look at that. We're gonna be on in no time. Like this is less than a 10 minute wait. I would say maybe five minutes, oh yeah. Literally, we're just going right there. Wow, we definitely lucked out. Here comes our train, and it looks like we are... I am fearless. That was great. That was too good, much too good. Big Thunder Mountain is exactly what I needed and now I'm rushing to Adventureland because I think, I think I might be able to get two rides in, two more rides in uh, 30 minutes. Is it possible? The only way this is gonna work is if all, well, both rides are just a complete walk-on. And I'm already kind of uh, like running low on time, but I noticed the Golden Oak Outpost has a little Halloween treat. So uh, I think I'm gonna stop and get it. One second, I'm like, I'm gonna rush over to Pirates and try to ride two rides in 30 minutes. And then I'm like, oh, look, it's a Halloween treat. We gotta stop everything and go grab it. Look at this tombstone turret. 
a flaky pastry filled with strawberry jalapeno jam topped with vanilla buttercream, sprinkles, and sugar spiders. I like it. I think I'm going to get it. I'm glad I stopped because look at this. I'm actually just going to carry it with me. Maybe we'll have a food review inside the uh, queue there. You know what I mean? Just in case there's a little bit of a wait. But it looks actually really good. I'm excited to see what the strawberry uh, jalapeno jam is going to be like. I realized it can get pretty dark inside the queue for Pirates of the Caribbean. So I pulled up and decided to eat it right now real quick. And of course we gotta break it open because it's a pop tart. So I want to see what that filling's like. So here we go. Ooh, it's looking pretty decent here. Oh, I hope it's not spicy. We'll find out. Wow, this might be one of the best pop tarts I think I've ever had. I really love how much jam is in there. Look at that, you can see all of it. The jalapeno is light. It's not that spicy, mostly strawberry, but this is so good. This is an award winner right here. The best Pop-Tart I think I've ever had. Better than any Woody's ones, I can say. This is definitely way more jam. I am happy that we stopped. I mean, it's very risky, especially if I want to try to get another ride in, but I'm happy we stopped to try this because I actually really do like it. Now, let's go ride Pirates. Strike your feathers, dearie. Show them your flock. Hey, send them him, Sir Davy Jones. It's the Rumble Bots. was fun. I'm still shocked that we were able to get two treats and ride two rides in like 45 minutes and I think we can get to Haunted Mansion. No Nathan, we don't have time for Dole Whips. We gotta get on over to uh, Haunted Mansion unless they have a Halloween one. Then we have all the time in the world but it looks like they don't so we're gonna keep moving along. I'm in a hurry to get things done. Oh why? Rushing, rushing to Haunted Mansion. Look at that. We made it with minutes to spare. 35 minutes. That's actually not too bad for October 1st. To find a way out. <laughs> mansion on October 1st is the way to go. I mean, October 31st would be better or, oh, I'm not even wearing my hat. Huh, I took it off during the ride. I'm bald, but yeah, that was the way to go. And uh, believe it or not, I have one minute to spare. One minute, I mean, I could run to Small World. I wonder if I could. I'm not too sure what the rules are, but uh, it already hit six o'clock. So I don't know if they'll let you in at six o'clock or if you, uh, have until 601 so uh oh what's this due to it fierce wind and weather conditions some areas may be closed oh wow why small world when peter pan is only 35 minutes look at that is it open still yeah. oh thank you 
We made it. Now, the park's not closing at 6 o'clock. It's just all the day guests, uh, that's when the, the, the park closes for them. If you're staying for the party, then you can just keep on riding the rides and, you know, you have all night long, but I don't. As soon as I get off this ride, I'm going to have to exit the park and make my way down to Main Street, USA, which I will do, but still pretty incredible. Four rides in under an hour. This queue is so fun to walk through, too. Look at this. Oh. Looks like we're gonna be in here for a little bit. It's not too fun anymore. <laughs> Look at how cool this is. I think Tink's in that chest there and sometimes uh, she does like this really cool effect. So I'm gonna wait to see if it happens. Oh, she's doing something back there. What's she doing? Get out of there, Tink. And there she goes into the next room. Oh, right there. There she is. <laughs> Oh, is this me? Is that my shadow? Oh, that is my shadow. Now she made her way over onto the bed here. Look at her. It usually goes by super fast if you hop in line right before the party begins because during the party there's no lightning lanes and it's just a standby so you should fly straight through. And also look at Ronnie Peter Pan with uh, <laughs> Captain Hook and uh, Peter Pan. Look at that. Oh, and here comes my pirate ship. <laughs> you ready, Zero? better way to end the day or well, the last ride of the day well we did it we did it and now it's time to start making our way out of the park walking slowly down Main Street USA it's like 619 now and I haven't gotten checked yet so like I'm like wow where are all the the checkers I bet you they're down this way they have the castle closed off because of the fireworks but I bet you there's gonna be someone down here checking for wrist uh, bands any second. Oh, there's one facing this way. Ah, but not fun facing this way. I made it all the way down to Main Street USA without anyone telling me I had to leave. I think they make it so that the only route to leave is actually straight down to Main Street USA. But I wanted to point out the new Happy Halloween balloons they got because I actually got one myself. Look at that. Normally, uh, people like to get balloons on their way in, and I decided to get a balloon on my way out. 
might be the best $22 purchase I ever got. I'm only kidding, it was $22 for the balloon and that is kind of ridiculous, but they know that kids want the balloons when they come to Disney, even the adults do. You know what I mean? Now, I don't buy a balloon all the time, but every once in a while, I uh, like to get it because it feels great, I don't know. Just. I I don't know why it does, but it does. And uh, this one uh, is nice. $22, it lights up, it's got one of those things so it doesn't fly away. I thought it was gonna fly away there. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna hang on to it for a little bit. Fun fact, uh, if you ever pop your balloon or uh, it deflates, you could just bring it back and they'll give you a new one. I don't know if a lot of people know that or not, but yeah, it's true. Try it out, if you have a pop balloon, uh, uh, just bring it over to where you got it and bring them the balloon and they'll just give you a brand new one. All right, let's get out of here, balloon. <laughs> Goodbye. I'll never forget you. Now I'm sad. All the Halloween music is starting to come on, and we're leaving. Time to go. Come on, balloon. You're my new best friend. Holy moly, it's a double monorail. Look at that. How lucky, huh? What do you think, best friend? Double monorail. I am actually gonna bring my balloon home with me and I'm gonna do a fun little experiment and any Office fans out there actually might like it. And uh, we'll also see how Gracie likes the balloon. In the past, Gracie hasn't been the biggest fan of balloons, so we'll see how she acts with this one. Maybe she might like it because it's Halloween and that's her favorite holiday. Or maybe I just made it her favorite holiday. It's also her birthday because Gracie's birthday is on Halloween. We didn't know uh, what her exact birthday was, uh, so we just picked Halloween to be her official day of uh, birth. <laughs> so maybe she might like it, you never know. But dogs can't read. Where's my pumpkin pal? Where is she? I know you're here. Gracie! Come on down, pumpkin pal. There she is! Oh, look at that smile! Let me see that smile! Give it to me! <laughs> there it is! Let me see that smile! Give it to me! Smile, Gracie! Smile! Smile! Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? I don't want to give Gracie the balloon. Well, I don't want to introduce Gracie to the balloon until we actually make our way outside. But I feel like she already has a uh, little sneaky uh, suspicion something's going on. Look at her. Look at her at the top of the stairs. She won't even come. Come on, let's go. We're going for a walk. Come on, Grace. Let's go. Come on. Come on, let's go. We're going for a walk. Wow, she's so smart, isn't she? She knows. Something's up. Something's up. Come on, Grace. I just realized Gracie was looking at the balloon the whole time because she can see the lights on the balloon from behind my back. So she knows it's there. Now I'm going to show it to her. Oh, don't be afraid. It's just a balloon. Don't be afraid, Gracie. Don't be afraid of it. Come on, let's go. Well, we uh, found out Gracie does not like the balloon still. <laughs> She's not a fan. But uh, for my little experiment, have you guys ever watched The Office and uh, seen the episode where the balloon was falling down in the warehouse? Well, I have this staircase in my house and I was wondering if I cut the little tag on here, if I just let it go and just like sit up in the ceiling, how long is it gonna sit up there? Like, a happy Halloween on October, and I wanna see if it will stay uh, floating all the way until after Halloween, maybe into Christmas, and I thought it'd be fun to like, give you guys little updates. You know what I mean? I think it's kind of funny. And this is what I'm talking about. Off you go. <laughs> there we go. We're just gonna leave it sitting up there. And I don't think Gracie actually looks up when she walks, so she'll never even know it's there. And that way we can do little updates and see if it eventually will fall down. Look at it sitting up there. And that's perfect. That's literally in the perfect spot. 
Ever since the very first day I got Gracie, she has been afraid of uh, just various items. Like sometimes she's just a very skittish dog. Uh, so I have to be careful what I bring around her. I always test it out first and then I never force it. I always feel like I'm her protector and I gotta protect her from anything that scares her. So uh, yeah, <laughs> the, the balloon's gotta go. It's gonna stay up in the rafters. And uh, now I gotta give her a cookie to make her feel better. I got this cookie jar with Bullseye and Woody on it, and it reminds me of me and Gracie. It's got a whole bunch of cookies in there. Look at Just like Grandma would have had them. Hee! <laughs> so we're going to give her one. There we go. That's the one. Would you accept this fine cookie if I told you it came from my friend the balloon? No? You wouldn't, you wouldn't accept this cookie because it came from the balloon. What if I said I'm giving it to you? There you go. Have a cookie. I love you. And with that, we are done here today. What an amazing day. Happy birthday, Walt Disney World. It seemed like yesterday was the 50th anniversary only because they extended it so long. Like, it was longer than one year. And now, what are we on, the 52nd birthday? Is it the 52nd? Yeah, yeah it is, holy moly. Yeah, yeah, wow, it just seemed like the 50th was yesterday. But also it was fun to just hang out at uh, uh, Magic Kingdom. Like I said, I wish we had more time, but honestly, I had a, I had a, I had a blast. I feel like we uh, made the most out of it and had a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoyed the video. You know what I mean? Because. I enjoyed making it and uh, yeah I'll keep you updated on uh, all of the post uh, about the balloon uh, I'd like to see how long it's actually gonna stay up in the ceiling floating I think that's kind of cool and if you haven't seen that office of the episode just uh, type it in on YouTube and you can actually watch that just that scene just put balloon in office warehouse and like it'll pop up but uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time Bye!